So chosen ones, as you continue to wake and as you continue to ascend, there's a lot of layers that are going to start peeling off people. So the perception that you will have at that moment of the people that you used to know will also be different. So what am I trying to say is that life will never be the same again. The people that you the people that were once your best friends, you will start to look closer and you realize they have always been your enemies. And this is going to continue in a lot of people that you know, friends, a lot of family, and a lot of relatives, and everybody in your circle, the life is never going to be the same again. Now, I got a particular question from a subscriber, and I want everybody to take a look. Good morning everyone, good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomos and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom and the channel of breaking empires free. If you are new, on this channel I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse, I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-growth and if any of that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us, give us a like, share the video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already and for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. Now, eventually, this video is going to go out to the chosen ones. So if you're not a chosen ones, I don't see you resonating with this video because at the end of the day, you may not actually understand what I'm talking about. So for the most of you guys who are awakened empaths out there, you may very much resonate with this video. Now, you've all seen that question that I've uh, posted on this channel. A subscriber was concerned that uh, all, over the, all, 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 all of a sudden, they are starting to meet that they started to meet people that they used to know and it looks as if those those individuals they're actually avoiding him or her something like that so the life that you live before an awakened the life the life that you live before you awaken is a completely different life than that life that you're going to live after awakening because as you awaken you continue to ascend you ascend and you ascend and you ascend and the more you ascend is the more you start to peel off a lot of layers from the people that you used to know but you see a lot of people that you know a lot of people around you they have been taking you for a ride you eat with them you sleep with them you club with them you drink with them you smoke with them they were comfortable with you when you're in that bubble which was resonate which was resonating with them but the more you keep on ascending and becoming a better version of yourself you will also usually have something what they call a kundalini awakening now the kundalini awakening is also called the third eye awakening so you're, you're actually going to see a lot of individuals through your third eye that is when you're going to know who exactly has always had your best interest at heart who exactly has deeply cared about you and who exactly had always had your back but you see the problem is 
an awakened empath is a threat to the people who is around them and those individuals that are actually not awakened. So because an awakened individual is seeing different things than the people who is around them, you're not seeing the same thing. So your vision is different. Because why? You're looking at the world in front of you with the third eye. But a lot of people who are living on the 3D, on the lower frequency, they're just seeing 3D, uh, they're just seeing the world in the third dimension. So a lot of them, they don't see what you see. But most of the times, what is going to shock you most, what is going to, what, what is going to be the biggest shocker is for you to find out that actually you are now starting to see a lot of individuals for who they are, for who they really are. It happened, it happened to me along my journey, guys, chosen ones. It happened to me along my journey. Most of the times in the, in the early days of my waking up, I thought that I was going crazy. I was looking around, I was like, oh, this used to be a nice family member. We used to chat, we used to talk, we used to share a lot of ideas, a lot of secrets together. That used to be my best friend. My eyes, I didn't know that actually I was having a Kundalini awakening. And now I was starting to see a lot of individuals for who they really are. Not what exactly they told you they were. I was starting to see people for who they really are. And believe me, guys, it was not a pretty sight. Because at that moment, that's when I knew my life was changing. So normally in those early days, I started separating myself away from a lot of individuals. So, so many guys I used to know, I started to say, okay, you know what? It looks as if this particular individual, they're not of my highest good. They want something different. They think about me in a different way. So I started to like separate myself away slowly, slowly, eventually from those individuals. And I started to go my own direction. In the early days, I thought I was alone. But when I looked around, I also noticed there are so many people around the world that are waking up. And they're also going through the same thing that I was going through. So eventually, I was able to have the confirmation that I was not going crazy. So you will see a lot of individuals who are As a chosen one, you are also a targeted individual. So, in your circle, you, you, in, in your circle, around your circle, you best believe you're having a lot of gang stalkers, you're having a lot of spies, you're having a lot of enemies, you're having a lot of people who don't have anything, your best interests at heart. But at the same time, they are coming around and smiling at you and trying to make you believe that they are part of you, and they have got they, uh, they have got your best interests at heart. So, most of them, you will see them around you. They are faking whatever it is they are trying to show to you. But when you wake and you start to see these individuals on the 5D level, on the 5th dimension, when you're starting to wake up and you're starting to see these individuals, you're starting to look through them. This is not about seeing the individuals in front of you. You're actually now looking through them. Whatever word comes out of their mouth, you almost know what they mean. Whatever actions they do, you almost know what they're trying to mean by those actions so you are now starting to see those particular individuals for who they are and i can guarantee you guys chosen ones out there it is going to be very shocking and usually to take you by surprise when you start to see these individuals that's when you're going to start to separate yourself you may, it, it may not happen of course in a, in an instant it may sometimes take a lot of steps but you're going to notice that actually you're detaching emotionally from these individuals because for the first time now you can see them you understand them and you know what they're all about and now you're distancing yourself from them and even sometimes getting very far away from them like for that question of uh from a subscriber there's people there is people that start that are start starting to pop up from seven years ago from so many years ago they're starting to pop up out of nowhere but it's like when they see that individual particular individual they notice that actually they cannot hide for a very long period of time and they notice that person can see them for who they are and that is exactly why they're trying to avoid that particular individual because they know you really know who they are so it will always happen along your journey you will see a lot of guys they will come to you they will see you when they see you coming from that direction they will, they will take the left the, 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 they'll they will turn left when they see you coming from the left they'll turn right that is because they don't want to get into contact with you i can guarantee you guys I've been along this journey for a couple of times now. I've been, I've been along this journey for a good number of years. I've distanced myself from family members. I've distanced myself from the people that I used to call my best friends. I've distanced myself from a lot of people because I can now understand that we are not on the same frequency. So those individuals at a certain level, on a subconscious level, they know that you're not on that same, frequ on that same frequency as they are. You're ascending towards the, five, towards the fifth dimension they are still stuck in their little box. So they are still doing the same things they used to do. They think the same way they used to think. 
they still do those same things. They, those same things they used to do, and most of the times you have all actually um, overridden those patterns, and you're now moving towards becoming a better, a better version of yourself. And most of the guys around you, they don't know where you're going. They cannot see where you're going. They don't know where you're going. And a lot of them, because they're still stuck in that lower frequency, they're still doing those same things that they used to do before. But you've jumped out of that box. You're moving towards the higher dimensions. And you can now see those individuals for who they are. I can guarantee you guys, those individuals, the moment they see you, they're going to run. Over the years, I've known so many friends. The guys that I used to call best friends, I've known so many of them. They're nowhere to be seen. Because when I started wanting better for myself, you will notice chosen ones that the moment you decide that you want better for yourself, you want to grow, you want to ascend, you want to elevate, you're starting to yearn for better. You want, you, you, you are, you're pushing yourself to the next limit. You want to go to the next level. I can guarantee you guys, you're going to leave so many people behind. And a lot of people that you're leaving behind, I can guarantee you 150%. Most of those guys, they were enemies in disguise. So do not be surprised along your journey. When you're meeting this kind of situations, because as a chosen one, as a person who is awakening, uh, who is waking up, and as a person who is also ascending, you are always going to meet a lot of people along your journey. Those individuals, they don't, they don't even want to sit in front of you. They cannot stand your presence because remember, guys, I've told you guys on the fifth dimension, you are vibrating on a very high frequency. It is only the people who can read your energy. It is only the people who can read your frequency who can understand your language. Those are only the, the only individuals you are going to meet, and those individuals I've told you, those are the guys they call the soul tribe. Those are the guys that will sit with you. They will speak your language. They will understand your language. They will know where you're going. They will even sometimes know your purpose. But the people that you've left behind on the 3D, they will avoid you. They will not even want to be a part of you. They don't even want to hear anything what you have to say. They will ignore you. They will ignore your path. They will ignore your calling. They will not even want to know. They, want, they don't want to do anything. They, want, they don't have nothing to do with whatever it is you've got going on with your life. So it is just because you're waking up. It is very obvious in this question that I've uh, post, just posted for, uh, posted for you guys. It is very obvious that that, that particular individual, they are most likely waking up. So they have already gone out of that box. They have continued to ascend. Want better, do better, seek better. And when they're looking back and continue meeting those kind of individuals who are very much a part of them long time ago, so many years ago, those individuals, they can see that actually at some point that particular individual has left them far behind and they can no longer resonate with you. And at that point, you already know who likes you and who doesn't like you, who wants you and who doesn't want you. So you can tell the difference between the good and the bad. That's the reason why you, when you meet them, it is going to become very obvious. It does not matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter how hard they try to hide because remember guys, a person who is living on a high dimension, they have already peeled off the layers and they can look through the veil. So now they know that you see them for who they are and that's the reason why they're avoiding you. So in this video, let me know guys, if you're a person like that, of course, eventually you have ascended, you have awakened, you're ascending or you keep on ascending, you're elevating yourself, you can look through the metrics, you can look through the illusion, you can look through the lies. Let me know if it has also happened to you along your journey and there's a lot of people who are actually avoiding you along your path. They are avoiding you for a reason. Why? Because you're a chosen one. You can look through them, you can see through them, see through them, and you can even know what they're all about. And they cannot stand your presence because at that moment you are vibrating high and you're vibrating on a very high frequency and they cannot stand your light. Let me not think about this video in the comment section below, guys. You can always leave us a comment in the section below. Like and share. Subscribe if you haven't, uh, if you haven't already. Until then, I'll get back to you in my next one. Much love and blessings. There's more signing out. Peace.